Okay, so now we're on to number five, which is actually filing the claim application, submitting the application for unemployment insurance. So we finished your profile, we finished the, finished the wages and work history. Now go ahead and click on file claim application. Okay, um, before you get started, it's gonna tell you the information that you need. Um, it'll tell you what a UI benefits claim is, an unemployment insurance benefits claim is, when you should file, um, answers questions about if you meet the eligibility requirements and what information you need to provide. Um, there's also information about what happens after you file your claim and how you receive payments. So if you would like to read any of this information, you just click on the accordion button here and it'll bring it up for you. And um, you can either exit and return when you have the information that you need or you can continue. Okay, so this is some information about fraud. Um, the department takes fraud very seriously. It's important to be very honest and thorough with your answers. Um, if it is found that you failed to provide information with the intent of receiving benefits that you are not entitled to, um, you can be convicted of fraud. Uh, penalties in Idaho are very severe and collections are very aggressive. So once you have read um, the disclaimer about fraud, go ahead and click here and say next. Okay, first it wants to know if you're a US citizen, authorized alien, or not authorized. Okay, it wants to know if we filed benefits in another state in the last 12 months. If you have, select yes, and it states that you have to contact that other state before you continue with this application. You're not allowed to have two claims at once, um, so if you have a unemployment insurance claim with another state, contact them and see if you have existing benefits. Uh, if not, then you can say no and next. Okay, wants to know about our military service. If you have served in the military, including National Guard and Reserve, for at least 90 days during the past two years. Um, be sure to an answer yes so we can request those wages. If not, say no. Railroad benefits. Um, have you applied with unemployment benefits from the railroad? Um, if you work for the railroad, they have their separate unemployment insurance system. Um, so please mark yes uh, if you're receiving benefits from that system. Okay, these um, questions are very important. Make sure you read them thoroughly. Uh, it's a long list, but the first thing they want to know is, did you work full-time this week? So full-time is um, typically 40 hours a week. If you worked a few full-time days, let's say you worked full-time Monday, but you didn't work on Tuesday, or for the rest of the week, you would say no. We wanna know if you worked full-time during the week, 40 hours typically. So we'll say no to this. Have you turned down any offer of work since you became unemployed? Say no. Are you a professional athlete or have you been a professional athlete in the last two years? We ask the same thing if you're an elected official, a corporate officer. Um, if you belong to a labor union, we want to know this because your work search requirements can change depending on if you belong to a union or not. Um, have you filed or did you receive total t disability workers' compensation? Have you suffered from a disability that prevented you from working? Have you applied or are you receiving payments from a pension or retirement account other than Social Security? So Social Security does not count. And will you receive any vacation, holiday, bonus, or severance pay this week? So are you expecting some sort of compensation from your employer other than your regular paycheck? Um, answering yes to any of these questions doesn't necessarily exclude you from receiving benefits, um, nor does it cause issues that could hold up your benefits. It's just information that we need to make sure that we complete to ensure that your application is as complete as possible. Okay, are you willing to seek and accept full-time work? 
Are you able to work full time? So we want to know, are you physically and mentally able to work full time? Did you attend school or training this week? Okay, so transportation, they want to know how you plan on conducting your work search activities. How are you going to get um, to place to place? If you have a personal vehicle, select that. Um, if not, just basically select on, you know, how you plan on um, getting to and from your interviews or work. How many miles are you willing to travel one way? So let's just go ahead and select how many miles you're willing to go. And dependent care. What arrangements do you have for your children or other dependents that you may have to care for? Um, babysitter, neighbor, no arrangements available. Um, or if you have no dependents, you can just say that it's not applicable. And next. Okay. Um, so number seven, this asks us to confirm the work history that we have already entered. If you did not complete your work history, um, go ahead and add it here. So basically, first we certify we've reviewed it and then it's accurate. And if that's the case, we say agree. And next, if we had forgotten an employer, we would click on manage work history here and add the employer information. Okay, so it gives us a pop-up here that says that based on the information we have provided them, we are work seeking. That means we have to report a minimum of two work search contacts during each week that we file our weekly certification. Uh, we have to register for a job seeker account on the Idaho Works website within two weeks of filing the unemployment claim application. So Idaho Works um, is our website that we use to help people find work. So when you're finished with your application, you will need to register for work there within two weeks. Okay, and during this section of the claim, we agree to certain requirements. So the first is that we um, understand that we will go to Idaho Works within two weeks and register for work. The second part is um, just stating that you understand that you may be called into the local office at some point during your claim filing status. Um, if you're called in, the point of the interview is to help you get back to work and uh, they will you know, make you aware of the services that they have to offer and see if they can help you find work. You also state that you understand that you need to file your weekly certifications. Um, you also state that you understand that if you, if you perform any work, that you must disclose those on your weekly report. Wages are reported when the work was performed, not when you're paid. So if you work during the week, but you're not getting your check for another two weeks, when you file that week, you need to state that you worked and how much money you earned, even though you don't have your paycheck for another few weeks. Work search requirements. This already came up in the pop-up um, box, but it tells you that you have read and understand your work search status. And it's also provided to you on the manage claims section of the claimant portal. It says that you um, know that it's your responsibility to follow the instructions of your work search, search status. Most people are required to make two work search contacts per week. And you will receive a green pamphlet in the mail with unemployment insurance unemployment insurance information and you agree that you will read and understand that pamphlet. If you have any questions on the information in that pamphlet, please give us a call or use our click to chat feature. Okay, and as you're going through these, if you have any questions about what you're agreeing to, feel free, please feel free to reach out. When you're finished, click submit claim application. Okay, so here it tells you your completion time and your confirmation number. And it tells you that your next steps um, are to double check that your details are correct, to understand your work search status, and to look at your tax withholding status and payment methods.
If you feel comfortable here, go ahead and just exit your claim application. If you want to print this page with your confirmation number, just click print page up here to the right.